Hi everyone, this is Russ doing a quick late night experiment. Here's what I got for you. I'm working on the spark gap. Uh, I got some carbon rod, a carbon rod. I got this a long, long time ago. Um, it's copper coated carbon rod. Um, there's what it is if you want to look it up. Okay, that I believe that's exactly the one I have. So it's a uh, A-R-C-A-I-R carbon DC copper clad pointed electrode. Alright, now this is something I got off of an old piece of equipment. Um, it's actually a piece of graphite, I believe. It could be something else, but I'm 99% sure that's graphite. Alright, what I got here is a transformer. Uh, this is, it's hard to see, I know, but 12,000 volts at 24 milliamps. It's a neon sign transformer. 120 volt coming in. Alright. Um, just for fun, I got my uh, Jacob's Ladder set up here. Turn this light off. Alright, so you can see what kind of voltage I'm playing with here. Alright, turn that off. And what I'm going to do is hook up this spark gap. Oh yeah, I can smell the ionized air there. Alright, I'm just going to set this about yonder. Uh, it looks like it's about... Sorry about the bad footage again, I'm on my phone. It's a quick way to do it. Yeah, a little less than a half inch, so I'll go ahead and turn it on. And you can see, if I can focus, you can see the, the, the little bitty uh, sparks flying off there. And I believe that would be my vaporized particles that I'm looking for. And uh, I'll be able to run argon through this in a closed chamber and hopefully the uh, particles will stay within that argon gas. Okay. You can see they're both arcing. Both putting off particles. Carbon's not as much. I might take a cut this carbon rod and put two of them together. So I know what I got. Carbon or graphite. But uh, not real hot. This rod's actually warmer than that ball is, but I'm going to move this apart a little bit more. See if I can get just barely. Oh, that's a big one. And it's putting off some heat. And I can get real close as well. And, uh, get the same effect. Just a lot smaller. But anyway, this is what I'll be using for my spark gap. It's a little bit more of a, a heat. You can see the heat going on, the ionizing. I believe that's what that is. Um, it's a lot hotter than uh, like a, I believe it's like a really low amperage, high voltage arc is going to have more of a nice big old electric looking arc to it. But uh, it's what I got to experiment with. Let me know your thoughts on that. Um, you know, you got different kind of sparks. You got ones that are like you just see a pure like lightning bolt look, and then you got some like that where you see the the orange glow going around it. So let me know what you think the differences are. I honestly don't really know, but I think one's like low amperage, high voltage, and the other one's high amperage, high voltage. Um, I believe when you see that arc, you got a lot more amperage than you do. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong on that. All right, this is Russ. See you. Another quick little update. Alright, peace out. I was probably out of focus. Sorry.